something, uncle something, double air. What does that mean? You moving with your ITN uncles, Excuse me. the Bel Air? Oh, the oh, I moved them over with my uncle. With uncle, 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 uncle Bel-Air. and Bel Air. Yeah, you're right. She does a little finger. And then, Not um, even his, his mom. <laughs> and then she says, my hometown. Okay. Okay. All right, this is the latest. Democrats won big on abortion rights Tuesday, apparently. Mm-hmm. Here's what the results say. Voting was yesterday for the U.S. Cities. going into 2024. Mm-hmm. Democrats had plenty of good news to celebrate in Tuesday's off-year elections, and more evidence that they can win races centered on the national debate over abortion. That's the only way they're gonna win, because Biden is horrible. Well, it's and they're, they're gonna put, they're gonna do the same. This is a, this is well, like they leave it to the states. This is like a redo. Of Biden versus Trump. The first time Biden ran with Trump, people voted against Trump. They didn't vote for Biden. He only won because people was afraid if Trump got into office. So to be honest with you, and I really think this is the truth. I think Democrats want um, Trump to to win the nomination. And I think they want him to run against Biden. Why? Because people don't like Trump and they will vote for Biden because they don't like Trump so much. That's what I think. Any other Republican, if Nikki Haley went up against Biden, she'll win. She'll win. Mm-hmm. But they think people can extend Trump so much mm-hmm. that if we put him up against Biden, he'll win. That's what I think. I know they had uh, Hillary Clinton on The View today and she did speak about even though the polls are saying this about Biden and mm-hmm. whatever, she said, remember, they did that on with Obama, too. Oh, uh, they did that with her. And they did. She said with me and Obama, because they did. We thought he was going to lose. She thought she was going to win so much. She didn't even start going to places. I know. She didn't even go to the battleground places like he was going to Trump because mm-hmm. she thought she had it in the bag. Mm-hmm. But Joy was right when she brought, uh, brought up that whole electoral thing. It's funny because electoral college, mm-hmm. Leslie from the um, Saturday Night Live, mm-hmm. she said, y'all just don't realize how much we don't know about our whole voting process. And Redistricting said, and all of that. California, she said, we was just floating high, smoking, getting high. We don't no. care. She come to New York and the East Coast. She said, y'all know y'all politics. Yep. And she said, Whoopi, I hate to say this, but I thought Electoral College was an actual college. Thank you. And she was and like- And they redistrict. The Republicans are doing a lot of redistricting. Mm-hmm. And a lot of these battleground states. So where they redistrict it to, let's say you're in a place where 90% is black. Well, they know that that district is going to vote the Democrat. Mm-hmm. So they go in, they redraw the maps. Mm-hmm. And they say, we need to throw some white people up in there. So let's redraw the streets mm-hmm. and let's put some white people over in there mm-hmm. and redistrict it. Mm-hmm. So now it's not 90%. Right, going. It's, right. It's, 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 you don't know where it's going to go now. Exactly. They, I told you Republicans play chess and, and Democrats play checkers. But even watching that documentary... The electoral vote, a lot of it was stemmed, it was the foundation of it oh, was dealing with slavery race. and race. Slavery. Well, it says the Democrats have plenty of good news to celebrate in Tuesday's off-year elections and more evidence that they can win races centered on the national debate over abortion. Mm-hmm. Abortion rights supporters won an Ohio ballot measure and the Democratic governor of Beat Red, Kentucky, held onto his office by campaigning on reproductive rights and painting his opponent as an extremist. I told you I didn't want the black man to win in Kentucky because number one, he's a Trumpster. Mm-hmm. And he did not, um, he he was the one, he was an attorney general mm-hmm. and he didn't prosecute the officers who um, um, took the life of Breonna Taylor. Oh. He didn't see that it was a, a that was a, uh, that it was a, it that was, was his, he was attorney general mm-hmm. and he didn't bring any charges. And what was his reason not doing that? He didn't see no evidence that there was wrong. Here's the thing. Yes, it was evidence that it was wrong. It was a no knock um, yeah, war. Yeah. And the you got to look at the history of the people who was doing the shooting. Yes. The history of the cops. Thank he you. was, again, he actually thought he was going to bring his bucket head and <laughs> black people was going to vote for him because he's black. We remember. They did that with, um, with the Herschel Walker. Yeah. They think black people are stupid. Yeah. They- I'm going to vote for a werewolf. Why? Because he's black. Yeah, I think a lot of times when they bring out when they when they come across like Ramaswamy, I think he probably thinks people are like Lulu, 
what you what, what you say? Oh, he look good. I'm gonna vote for him. He don't look good. No, people. Are, oh, you saying general the stupid okay. stuff that people say? Tim Scott. Yeah, Tim Scott. So yeah, maybe he did. He like like Leslie Jones was saying. We don't understand all that's going right, on. Right, we right. don't educate ourselves. But Tim Scott wasn't. He didn't do what that guy did. Yeah, yeah. That's why he didn't. He don't have to worry about. You can just say you don't like his politics. Like I don't agree with. Well, you I don't know. like when he said that that, that is, the blood is on uh, Biden's hands. Right, but that's not the enough. Whole Israel thing. That's not enough for black people to I know. go against. Yeah, you. That's true. The Breonna Taylor was. We look at how you handle situations like Breonna Taylor. Exactly. And you could be a. You could be a Trump. Because mm-hmm. according to them, the guys in the hood outside are voting for Trump. Because he's outside. <laughs> he's like us. Hey, yeah. get a load of Ralphie he's over there. <laughs> he's outside. But the lot- judge is telling but- them to shut up and cook. And they're coming down on him. He's like one of us. I I was thinking of those shows that show uh, John, uh, Judge Mathis or the other Judge Brown and the black person be in the courtroom getting smart with him. Right, right. You get smart with me? I'm the judge. You get smart with me? And they love when Trump yeah. stand up and... Yeah. Yeah. He told him to talk up to answer the question. And he said, I'm not answering the question. What do you think about that, Judge? Yeah. And the judge told him to shut up. Yeah, he's outside. He's one of us now. He's outside. Oh, my God. Yes. And they have the time. They don't vote. Right. So, okay, we'll see. Yeah, he thinks he's one of us. Well, anyway, the Democrats won. They won an open seat in Pennsylvania Mm -hmm. Supreme Court Hmm. after campaigning on his pledge to uphold abortion rights. A Democrat won. Okay. And the Democrats took full control of Virginia State House. Blocking Republicans from being able to pass new abortion restrictions and delivering a defeat to Governor Glenn Youngkin that may douse any buzz about a late entry into the GOP presidential primary. He's not coming in. He, he lost. Losing his losing that, he can't come into the race later. Okay. So now in in, the, in Virginia, they the Democrats are over the House and the Senate. Oh. Uh, only by one vote, I by think. Vote. It's not a lot. Okay. The victories won't be enough to make Democrats feel secure heading into next year's presidential election. Mm -hmm. The off-year elections have major implications in all of those states and provide a snapshot of American politics heading into 2024. Mm -hmm. But two big names, Joe Biden and Donald Trump, weren't on the ballot this time. How Americans view them will be a huge factor. I said that in the race. Mm -hmm. When people vote, they usually vote all. Right. So if I'm coming to vote for Trump, I would have voted, this is people, I would have just voted all Republican. Right. Or if I was voting for Biden, I would have voted all Democrat. Yeah. Yeah. So those two guys at the top of the list are important Mm -hmm. because they change the way that people vote. Thank you. Hmm. So that's what's going on now. So they're leaving it. I know they changed the um how they treated the in Ohio like that little ten year old girl the eleven year old girl that was pr- uh, pregnant. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, the what decision now? Right. Is, is, is now the they birth? don't have to travel, I guess. To she another... traveled out of state to another state that allows it. Yeah. Okay. Um. Let's see. Christopher says, um, "I would agree. People can't stand Trump. However, I'm worried about Biden's age. I agree. Um, even though Biden and Trump are around the same age." I know. But Biden seems older than Trump. You know, even though Trump is losing his mind, he's, you know what the difference is? Keep in mind, they both are kind of You know what the difference is? Trump is an entertainer. Yeah. So when he messes up, he knows how to play off of it. Mm -hmm. Where Biden just loses it. Like Trump will say, um, I'm uh, Obama, uh, I'm going to beat Obama. And then the person will go, do you mean Biden? No, no, I'm going to be beat Obama because these people have the same mentality as Obama. He'll, he'll come back and I'll make take, you think, oh, I didn't lose my I'll mind take, by saying that. I'll take the age issue over the, uh, the, the lack of knowledge on things because Trump don't know nothing. Sometimes he's thinking he's running against Obama. My I'll thing, take a chance with an older man, like going to grandpa. Hey, grandpa, you remember when you used to take us down mm-hmm. south? He'll say bits and pieces of what he remembers, but he still don't go, 
Oh, uh, well. Or freeze up like McConnell. Or make up something. Yeah. Whereas Trump, he'll, <laughs> he'll, make his, he'll create his whole world. <laughs> McConnell just freezes. Just freeze. What do you think about the band? The, the, what happened in Ohio? Ask me what I think about the band that happened. What I'm you, O'Connor. What do you think, uh, Ms. Mitchell McConnell, what, what happened with the uh, election in Ohio about the whole um, pre, uh, the, uh, abortion situation? I feel like we're going to... Ms. Mitch McConnell? Mr. McConnell? Mr. McConnell, did you hear me? Mr. McConnell, do I need to be? I'm all right. <laughs> the doctor just says I'm tired. That's all. You tired? Okay, yeah, we all idiots. I, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. okay. Ask me again. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but we got to be careful. A lot of people they be they voice that they're so tired of people <laughs> doing this age thing. So I don't know. We'll see. Well, Nikki Haley says they all need to be gone. Okay. She wants all old people out of there. And then, that's, the, God forbid, if something clunks her on the head and she yeah. forgets things. Come on. Um, let's see. Christopher says, yes, the Republicans redistricted my house district here in Nashville. Told you. They do it. They playing chess, y'all. Mm -hmm. The Democrats, I'm not a Democrat or Republican, so I ain't got no dog in this right. fight. We're independent. I, both parties are dumb to me. But... I'm telling you, the Republicans play chess and the Democrats play checkers. While y'all doing all this talking, they redistricting and doing all kind of stuff. All right. Um, Christopher C. says, Chan. Um, he says, change my representative from a Democrat who has been in office for 20 years to a Republican due to redistricting. Yeah, that's the sly way of doing it. That's why, um, what's her name in um, Georgia? The Abrams. Georgia, Georgia. Abrams, Stacy. Yeah. I hope and pray Stacy gets in, up involved in politics a little higher than where she's at now. But she, it's like she's an advocate for this. Yeah. She's really trying to make sure that voting rights are are equal and yeah. everything is the playing field is the same. And I'm hoping that she stays on that. You yeah. Know? Um, Christopher says they split the district. Republicans are the majority in all the branches of government here in Tennessee now with supermajority status. That's, that's how they get you. I'm telling you. That's fine. That's how they get you. All right, y'all. Okay. So that's it with them. Let me move on. I told y'all I was going to be moving quick today. Ivanka! 